Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Um, I know you guys are preparing for your AP exams and I'm so sorry I haven't been able to make more videos. Uh, but just wanted to go over as you guys are probably cramming. Um, so I broke this up and I think it's very helpful for you guys to understand as you go into this test, you gotta work smarter, not harder. You gotta look and see, okay, what am I going to focus on? Don't just study everything, okay? You gotta study your opponent. And the FRQ is probably the toughest part. So here on the left side, I have uh, Calc AB, and then on the right side is BC. If, if this just helps even just some of you, I mean, it's, it's worth it. And uh, go back and look at the other videos so you can kind of get an, an idea of, of how to study for this. So the AP Calc AB has basically six types of uh, FRQs. Um, you're going to have the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. That one is gonna be number one. You're always gonna see that, okay? Um, and then also rate accumulation. And these are the problems where, you know, you have uh, something comes in and something's going out, things like that. You, you're, that's definitely gonna be there because it's part of the fundamental theorem of calculus, okay? Um, you're also gonna probably get a graph. They're probably gonna get, ask you to find the position of the particle, uh, things like that. All right, and the graph is gonna be line segments or some type of, of curve. The other type is particle motion. And this is where they're asking you, is the particle speeding up, slowing down? Is it going left, going right? Okay. And last year you had an area of volume, area of volume, okay, in the 2021 exam. And this is where it's a curve, it's rotating about a certain axis, okay. Then the next one is differential equations. And then last year's exam, actually it was interesting, it had two equations. I think it was questions five and six has uh, two differential equations. Uh, and this is where you're gonna have to find the, uh, the giving you the uh, initial condition and you're gonna have to work your way back to find the, the, the function, okay? And then also they're gonna have to, they're gonna ask you to graph it, all right? And graph a few points there on the, on the graph of the, of the equation. All right, and then lastly, six time, number six, I, sometimes, I call that an oddball because sometimes they throw in a limit there, sometimes a L'Hopital rule, okay? But I have videos on all of these, uh, hopefully they'll help you, but you gotta think about how they're gonna structure the exam, okay? Optimization, I'm always asking, is optimization gonna be on there? No, it's not gonna be on there. Uh, it hasn't been on there for the last, I don't know, 20 something years, and I doubt that they're gonna, they're gonna put it in there. But um, take a look at, at uh, those videos that I have online. I know they're about two years old, but they do help because it structures you to see how, what to look for. What are we gonna focus and pinpoint on, okay? Um, for the BC, if you notice, everything is similar. The rate accumulation, uh, I believe, was the same. Fundamental theorem of calculus question, that was the same. Um, you're always going to get with Calc BC, you're going to get a, a, a polar curve, and that one's dealing with arc length, okay, <clears throat> uh, of course, and then you're going to get your Taylor series, absolutely, they're going to give you a Taylor polynomial, for sure, that's guaranteed, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, um, or some version of it, and then uh, this one here, uh, you're going to get a series where they're, they're going to ask you for the uh, radius of conversions. Does it converge? What test? That's biggie. Because Calc BC, this is probably the difference, right? You, you're adding series. You're adding polars. That's about pretty much the difference. You're also going to get particle motion, but that's going to be in vector form. Okay. Um, your X of T and Y of T. So that's going to be essentially the difference. But with these... A lot of these questions are going to be the same. Usually the rate accumulation, the ones that are fundamental theorem, um, they're going to be the same, guys. So what I would do if I were you, go back and the other videos that I've done over the years, they explain, okay, what to look for, what they're going to be asking, what to focus on. Because you don't want to be studying every single little thing, okay? That's not how you study. You, you study your opponent, you study the exam, Okay, see, what do they focus on? What are the important key concepts? And then you attack that, and you look at part A, part B, okay, what are they asking for? And remember, part A is really straightforward, part, you know, the, the latter parts are a lot more difficult,
But if you do this and you go back and you look at all those videos, I guarantee you, I think it'll help you. And even if it just helps a, a few of you. All right, guys. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'll try to do my best to, to answer them. And but go back and hyperlink to the other videos over the years. They're just all AP Calc, AB or BC. And uh, it'll kind of show you what to focus on. All right, guys. I wish you guys the best.